This video will show you how to use OneSearch. OneSearch allows you to search both the library's physical collection and most of our online resources all at once. You can start using OneSearch from the library homepage. The OneSearch search box is right on top of the homepage. Just type your terms into the box and click on the search button. We're going to use the example of voting rights. Here are our results. We have over 200,000 resources from this search. They include books, both physical and ebooks, scholarly articles, news articles, online streaming videos, and more. We aren't going to go through all of these results, so let's refine our results to get more relevant sources. On the left side of the screen, you will see options under Refine My Results. Here are the most useful ones. You can limit your resources to peer-reviewed journals, also known as academic or scholarly journals, by checking the peer-reviewed journals box under Availability. Click on the green Apply Filters button to refresh your results with the limiters you selected. Subject can be a useful way to limit your results to particular topics that are more relevant to what you are researching. For example, voting, voting rights, and law. Library is useful if you want to see what physical books we have in our library. Select Kenyatta College Library to see what books we have on this topic in our collection. Next, let's look at resource type. This allows you to limit your results to certain kinds of resources. For example, we have newspaper articles, magazine articles, images, videos, and much more. You can also limit by date. Click on creation date and type in the date range you need for your research. If you want to get rid of any of your filters, under active filters, click on the X next to the filter to remove it. You can also click on reset filters to get rid of all your filters at once. Once you've got your results, how can you access the full text of these resources? Unlike other library databases, OneSearch directs you to where you can get access to these resources, but it doesn't provide the resources themselves. For online resources, there are two ways to get access. Some resources will have the option to download a file, PDF, of the article or read the article online on the results page. You can see these links at the bottom of the item information. Just click on any of these options to access the full text. You can also click on the title of a resource to view its record, which gives you information about the resource, like title, date of publication, and how to access it. To access the article from here, scroll down to View Online and click on one of the links. This will take you to a library database or open access publication that allows you to access the full text of the article. There are two useful features in the item record. The first one is the citation button, which gives you a citation for the resource in MLA, Chicago, or APA format. Keep in mind that it's better to get the citation from the database where you actually access the full text of the article and not necessarily from OneSearch, but it is good to know that you can get the citation here if you need it. The other really useful feature is the email option, which allows you to send the item record to any email that you want. To review, OneSearch allows you to search all of the library's physical collection and much of our online resources at once. Use limiters like resource type and date to get more relevant results. Access online resources by looking at the options on the results page or click on the title of the resource and scroll to view online to see your options. Find the citation or email the record of the resource to yourself.